Printify has been my go-to print provider since the beginning of my print-on-demand journey, but there are some things that I wish I had known about Printify when I first got started. A lot of these things I learned the hard way with mistakes and they caused me quite a bit of headaches and stress. So in this video, I want to share with you everything that I feel you should know before getting started with Printify to save you time, money, and headaches like me. Some of these tips I share are related to recent updates Printify has made as well. So even if you're already using using and familiar with their platform, this video is for you as well. I do have a link for Printify as well as a discount code for their bootcamp in the description. This is their full course that guarantees you to make 10 sales within your first three months, or you will receive the course fee back. My discount code will get you 70% off of the course, so be sure to check it out. My name is Taylor and my channel is focused on all things Etsy and print on demand. If those are two things that interest you, I would love to have you introduce yourself in the comments. I'll be sure to say hi and subscribe for more videos like this. Here on my channel, I share my journey with Etsy and print on demand, as well as create content surrounding the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. If you're not familiar with print on demand, how it works is you partner with a print company, for example, Printify. You create designs for any of the products within Printify's catalog, and then upload those designs to your chosen product. Those products that you create are synced over to your Etsy shop. And when a customer purchases your product, because you are integrated with Printify, Printify receives that order information and your item will then be made, packaged, and shipped directly for you. You do not have to do any of the physical work in creating the product or holding large amounts of inventory. You are really just there for any customer service related questions and communication with your customers. This is the business model that has doubled my income in less than a year, and it can do the same for you with hard work and consistency. The first thing that is important to know about Printify is that they are not the actual print company. Printify acts as an umbrella, and under their umbrella are many different print companies from all over the world. This allows you to choose a print company based off of location, price, and available stock. I sell my print on demand products specifically on Etsy and majority of Etsy customers are within the US. So even if you live in a different country, you can choose a US based print company to save on shipping and offer faster shipping times selling on Etsy. One of the greatest benefits of this network of print companies I feel is related to inventory and stock on hand. If for example, Monster Digital, which is a popular print company is out of stock of a white size small shirt that you received an order for, you are able to reroute your order to an alternate print company such as Swift POD so that you are able to still fulfill the order and not worry about delays for your customer or having to cancel the order altogether. Because Printify acts as an umbrella, it's important to be aware of your settings in your Printify account. So let's hop onto my computer so I can walk you through what to look for so that you're set up properly. The first thing that we're going to take a look at is the ship from address. With this specific setting, you can actually go in and add a return address for any of your packages that are being sent. It doesn't matter the print company that you've chosen. This will just appear as the return address on any label for your products being sent out. This is important to know because if you have a customer who is looking to return a product, exchange a product, send anything back, or if the package fails to deliver, the address that is listed on your product or in this portion of Printify is where the product will be sent back to. Now, I don't typically recommend offering returns and exchanges in an established Etsy store. However, I feel as a new Etsy shop, it can be incredibly beneficial for your conversion to be flexible to returns and exchanges. And so with that, you would wanna make sure that you have a proper address in this setting in Printify. When you leave this as Printify default, it is going to have the address of the print company that you've chosen and all products would be returned to to the actual print company. If you want to provide an address, but you don't want to put your personal address, something that you could do is get a PO box and utilize that for any returns and exchanges. So another setting to be aware of is in the preferences. And the first thing to look at is order routing. Order routing is when you have a product that is out of stock with your chosen print company, and you need to essentially route that order to a different print company so that you can fulfill that order and send it to your customer. 
customer. And in your Printify settings, you have this option to enable order routing. I personally do not recommend enabling order routing in your store for the reason being that you do not necessarily have control as to where the order gets routed to. There are multiple different print companies. As I mentioned, Printify is a network of print companies. And I personally have certain print companies that I prefer to use. If you are wanting to make this more passive, then you may want to enable order routing so that you do not have to worry about fulfilling orders and it will automatically be done for you. If you were to enable order routing and you click into setup, you do have a little bit of control over a few things such as the cost for the product that you are routing to. So if you are rerouting to a different print company because your original is out of stock and the new print company costs more money, you can actually change the threshold here for your maximum additional cost so that you aren't losing money when this order is potentially rerouted. The other thing that you can check off is that you use only exact product matches. So this would be important if you are selling a specific shirt or color of that shirt, because if the customer received something that didn't quite look like the original, then you might have a customer service issue on your hands. The next setting that you would want to take a look at is your order approval. This is when you have made a sale, you receive those orders on Printify, then you need to send them to production. You can either do this manually yourself by logging in and submitting the orders, or you can have this done automatically. And there's a few different options for how it can be done. Whether you want it to happen automatically after one hour, automatically after 24 hours, or personally my favorite, automatically at a set time. This is great because it gives you a specific time that the orders are gonna go through each day so that you can go in and check and confirm anything that has synced over, which is something that I recommend doing, especially in the beginning. You wanna make sure that everything's set up properly, everything is syncing properly, which generally is not an issue, but it's definitely a great best practice to get into the habit of as a beginner selling print-on-demand. Another benefit to approving all orders at the same time each day is it will have all of those transactions go through as one large transaction, as opposed to if you are manually going in and approving those orders, those will actually show up as a bunch of little micro transactions, which makes it a little bit more difficult when it comes to bookkeeping and looking at all of your finances and your transactions. However, if you do want to stick to manual approval for your orders or stick to the automatically after an hour of being received or 24 hours of being received, something that you can do to combat the microtransactions is actually adding money to your Printify wallet. With this, you can just add in a certain amount of money that you feel comfortable holding a balance of in your Printify account so that when those orders are pushed through, it will come out of your Printify balance and you don't have to worry about a bunch of little transactions. You will just have the one transaction for every time you decide to re-up your Printify wallet balance. With print on demand, it is important to understand how payment works so that you are prepared. When a customer purchases your product on Etsy, you will pay Printify first so that the product can be made. And second, you receive your payment from Etsy from the customer's purchase. The difference between what your customer pays and what you pay for the production of your item gives you your profit. So it's important to be pricing your products properly. In the description, I do have a link for Everbee, which has the pricing calculator that I personally use. With that being said, it's important to know that you will need to be prepared with some form of payment for the production of your items when you do make sales as you will front the cost for the product. So you could pay for the product with your own money out of your bank account or what I recommend is opening a business credit card as well as a business checking and savings account. For one, this is going to keep your transactions separate from your personal banking, which is important for tax purposes. And for two, you can receive some really great rewards with the use of business credit cards because of the cash flow that will go through them in this business model. I have the card that I use personally for my business linked in the description. And with this card, I was able to receive a $1,000 cash bonus in my first three months because of the amount of transactions that were coming through the card each month. I would simply just be paying for the production of my items on this card and then paying off the card immediately as soon as I received my funds from Etsy. And just in the last month, I earned over $400 in cash back from points, which is just free money essentially for me using a business credit card. 
Something that I didn't know previously is that you do not actually need to be a registered business to get a business credit card. You can be an individual or a sole proprietor, which you may be just starting out and still apply and receive a business credit card, which again, I highly recommend. The next thing that I wish I knew when I first started with Printify is that CMYK is used for print products. This is just a specific mode used for mixing color in any graphic design. Why this matters, in graphic design, there are two forms of mixing color generally, RGB and CMYK. Typically, digital work, for example, your designs that you're creating in Canva, Kittle, or any design software are using an RGB color mode. However, when you upload those designs into Printify and they are printed onto a product, they will actually print utilizing a CMYK color mode. So what's the difference? difference and how does it impact your designs? To simplify this, RGB uses red, green, and blue to mix together to create the colors of your design and what you are seeing on your screen when designing. CMYK uses cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Because they are utilizing different bases, it can make differences in the final look of your design. But with Printify, you can now actually change the color mode for the mockups generated when you are creating your products. Speaking as somebody who has experienced this with their products where it didn't quite look like what I intended it to look when it printed, this feature is a game changer and I highly recommend previewing your designs in this new realistic color mode so that you can confirm your design is appearing how you've intended it to. If you've made it this far in the video, you are committed to growing and scaling your print on demand business and I applaud you for that. As you know, I do not sugarcoat things. This is work, it does take time, but you can do it and your dedication to getting to this point is what will set you apart from the rest. I hope that you found value in these tips about Printify. If so, be sure to boop the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I hope that you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one.